This video highlights the responsibilities of Ontario educators concerning the proper administration of EQAO's provincial tests, which are the primary and junior division assessments administered in grade 3 and 6, the grade 9 math assessment, and the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test, or OSSLT. This video does not replace the instructions in EQAO's test administration guides. The focus of this video is on the key procedures that must be followed to ensure that responses on the provincial tests are students' own independent work and are a true reflection of the knowledge and skills they have gained. It's important that the provincial test be administered consistently in schools across the province. EQAO relies on the professionalism of principals, teachers, and other school staff to administer the test according to the established policies and procedures. Let's look at some of the specific responsibilities before, during, and after the testing. Before the test, principals must ensure that all staff participating in the administration have received appropriate training and are following the appropriate steps identified in the current administration and accommodation guides. EQAO sends these guides to all participating schools in Ontario, and they're also available in the Educator Resources section of EQAO's website. School principals must ensure that all test materials once received from EQAO are kept secure before, during, and after the test. Individual test packages must not be opened by anyone before the administration of the test. Information from the test materials may not be used to provide instruction on any concept being assessed before or during the administration of the test. Teachers administering the test may not receive the test materials any earlier than the morning of the day of the administration. Also, only staff members administering the test may have access to test materials. Principals and teachers must ensure that the locations and conditions for writing the test allow each student to work independently. During the administration of the test, principals and teachers are responsible for ensuring that all classroom materials of an instructional nature have been removed or covered. However, the classroom tips, key words, and formula sheets applicable to the test and provided by EQAO may be posted or distributed to students. Students must be supervised at all times during the administration. No cell phones, smartphones, audio or video recording devices, pagers, digital music players, or email or text messaging devices are allowed in the testing room. During the testing, explanations, definitions, translations, or examples may not be provided to students. Nothing may be said or done to influence the responses, and students may not be prompted to alter or revise their own work. Student work may not be altered in any way after the administration. After the test, all used and unused test materials must be returned to EQAO. Test booklets must not be kept or copied by the school. However, for backup purposes, it is recommended that schools keep photocopies of the multiple choice student answer sheets before returning them to EQAO. EQAO is committed to ensuring that student responses on the test are a reliable indication of the knowledge and skills they have learned. We value our partnership with Ontario principals, teachers, and other school staff in administering the test according to the established policies and procedures. It is the responsibility of educators and members of the school staff to immediately report to EQAO any irregularities in test administration or suspected breaches of test security, whether accidental or otherwise. EQAO will work with schools and boards to investigate any potential issues around test administration. If there's reason to believe the integrity of the data has been compromised, EQAO may withhold student, school, or board level results as applicable. Any action taken by educators or school staff to deliberately contravene the test administration procedures constitutes professional misconduct. In confirmed cases, EQAO expects school boards to take appropriate disciplinary action. When necessary, EQAO will refer such matters to the Ontario College of Teachers. We hope this video has been helpful in clarifying educators' responsibilities and some of the key test administration procedures. For full instructions, please read the administration and accommodation guides appropriate to each assessment. For more information about EQAO's province-wide tests and about how the results contribute to public accountability and school improvement efforts, please visit www.eqao.com.